Welcome to episode 2 of Cycling the Wolf's Lair. In episode 1, I cycled the eastern side of this breathtaking Italian bikepacking route. And in this video, I'll take you through the west side of it. The great thing about the Wolf's Lair route is that it's positioned almost like the edge of a bathtub, as it trails around the valley of L'Aquila and towns like Sulmona, where this video started. Because of this, if ever you have to descend for a repair, restocking your supplies, or catching an emergency train ride, a big town and a station are just a downhill ride away. Getting back up to the trail can be done in a multitude of ways. In my case, I followed the SR-479 through Scanno, a wonderful, quiet way to climb back up to the mountains and continue the route from Villetta Barea. Pretty deserted. This must be some kind of ski resort, but there's no one here. So as you probably realized by now through this series, Italy is a beautiful country, Abruzzo province in particular. It's really showing itself off, showing the good side of things here. Uh, I wanted to touch on this area real quick and how I found it. So I, I looked on Google Maps satellite, found this patch, uh, and I wondered what it was. So I looked at the images, it turned out to be a picnic site. It's called Adea Servizi. Servizi. Uh, it's something similar to the Area Recreativa, which is a, a Spanish um, term for describing picnic areas and they're absolute saviors for bike travelers who are uh, looking to camp somewhere for the night. So, this is the first time I found one. I'm really happy, there's no one. It's uh, mid-November, you know, <laughs> it's crazy cold. <laughs> Nobody's looking to barbecue on a Tuesday evening, uh, which means I will have quite a tranquil night. like a real luxury to set up the tent at this time because usually you don't want to be seen and in an area like this everyone does it so it's not a problem when it comes to cooking while camping out especially in colder times I'd like to keep it simple and in Sulmona in the Konad I found these little packages uh, it's like a pasta and beans package, it's dried, costs 1 euro 60 
And I'm gonna try it out, see if it tastes good. Oh yeah, that's good. I only added a can of tomato and some garlic, which I also put on this bread that I took from the pizzeria in Sulmona. And it's an absolute treat, wow. situation has just gotten a whole lot worse. Abruzzo province went from yellow to orange for COVID this morning, which means that all the cafes are now closed. I don't know how supermarkets are gonna manage. I fortunately have everything I need. Uh, so yeah, it's starting to get hot, hot under my feet. I will try to follow Wolf's Lair route and finish it in L'Aquila over the next three days but then it's time to get out of Italy as soon as possible coffee is still good though <laughs> great evening to let the uh, sleeping bag dry out a bit because yesterday night was moist also this is one of those typical Instagram camping you know idyllic moments except this one's actually real and I cycled up to it so I think I put enough effort to enjoy it so yeah the uh, the sun is setting now. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. It's four o'clock. 
and it's already going behind well it's going behind the cloud but soon it will be behind the mountain my my it goes so fast it's crazy to know what is going to happen in this first episode, just listen a bit. Today we are going to talk with people behind gravel bikes and Y-Cycles. Y-Cycles is a company that makes only frames made of titanium. And Andrea was in the market exactly for one of those. One last fill up. You see, L'Aquila is just on the other side of those mountains. And I have a thousand meter climb to go until the top, and then a thousand meter descent into the city, where I'm gonna take a train a trajectory to Milano. Now, I'm doing most of the climb tomorrow, but I'm attempting a little stretch today. And it's about an hour away from full sunset, so I hope I can find a, a camp spot on the way.
go, I go further. I'm now in Roca di Mezzo and I have uh, 19 kilometers with a 370 meter climb to go. Wow, this fig jam, this bread, it's insane. I don't know if this is a bike tour doing this, making this taste better, or if it's just this wonderful chunk of bread. And that's about it for Wolf's Lair. Riding over the mountain plateau south of L'Aquila, surrounded by almost Icelandic scenery that felt completely separate from the rest of the route and its surroundings, we end the Cycling Italy series. This journey and this route, with the fame it has acquired and the riding conditions in the middle of fall season, has been a spectacular experience. If you ever find yourself on a bicycle in Italy, you should free up some time to ride this route, or at least integrate it into your existing one. It's as much a banger as bikepicking.com promises you. Oh, and if you do go, try not to forget your spokes.